What up? Here we are. Liam, are you here? Is everything working? I am indeed here. Am Not I my having... fault. Don't even start. You had technical difficulties this week. Everything on my end is looking slick. Yes, but I did resolve my tech difficulties in about 30 seconds. You did. But they were still your tech difficulties. What up, everybody? I see in the chat. Dude, what's that from? Star trekking across the universe. Da, 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 this was a thing when I was at school. What is that? Someone in the chat remind me what that was because it was it was pretty dope back in the day. Everyone liked it. That that one and also wasn't that from the same album or like from that same thing? There was someone made fun. I, I, the only thing I can remember about it is it's like that Barbaran song, ba 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 Barbaran, except it's bomb 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 Iraq or Iraq. I guess this was like a, a Doctor Demento. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. That's it. It's going to be stuck in your head all day. Welcome, everyone. Especially warm welcome to our members. My members. I see you there in the chat. What up? Tancred the Bear. Jenny Stout. And others. Every Fairy Dies. Also a deep member of the Whistleverse. Thank you for buying a membership, by the way. I wish that I wish I could give memberships to the people who work for me. But alas, no gifted memberships. I mean, you can gift memberships, like someone can gift memberships, but it doesn't work. Like, I can't give them out to people, which would be a nice feature, YouTube. I don't know, maybe you could make more of an effort with this whole live stream stuff. So, what's on the cards for today? Well, the main thrust of the episode is, um, the episode. The episode itself, conspiracy theories about Steve Jobs because the Bill Gates one did so well. I think they've even said to me, that there aren't even that many good conspiracy theories. But, uh, so that's, you know, I'm really selling it at the top of this episode. Um, thank you, Ferris Star, for the three months membership. Selling it at the top of this episode, but I'm sure it'll be good because Dave wrote it. And Dave, is he on the line? I'm just checking if he's, he's here. Not. He's not, but that's okay because we're going to do a whole lot of bullshit before we get into the content that people are actually here for, Liam. That's okay. I'll keep an eye on it. You let me know when he's in the lobby and we can move him in and get on with stuff. I also thought, depending on how the timing goes, Liam, people like it when we do questions. I <laughs> honestly don't. But by you filtering the questions, the good ones, the wheat from the chaff, I think we will have some good options. Oh, update on these coins for casual... Cri oh, there's so much to talk about. Let me first tell you about what we're going to talk about. There's that Q&A, which we'll do at the end. Liam will collect your questions. We'll do membership updates because things have changed. Don't worry. You're only getting more stuff, dear members. And then we're going to talk about my complaints about bucking lime scooters, which drive me nuts. We could play some logo games. I could tell you about a new secret project I've been working on. What do you think about that, Liam? You want to know about my secret project? I, it's I, the it's the weird. craziest thing that I've ever thought of doing, and I think it might be a good idea, or it could be the worst financial decision that I ever make in my life. What do you think? Well, you want... like all crazy business projects, we should definitely have this discussion on a stream in front of 500. People. Yeah, why not? I mean, this is the first time I've ever brought it up, other than to the person I'm doing it with. Um, in Someone there, Jonathan Franklin, has said, a new basement question mark. Jonathan Franklin is more right than you know, and no, I'm not getting a new office. It's more exciting than that. I'll have to think about it while we do today's episode. I don't really know if I want to talk about it yet, because it is like, it is the first, it is the earliest of early days, and it might be something that once I've talked to like my money people, they're like, bro, no. <laughs> Why are you thinking this is the worst idea? <laughs> Excuse me. It's my mesothelioma. Dude, someone had a go at me for that. Someone was like, my dad died of mesothelioma and it makes me sad when there's the mesothelioma memes. And I'm like, yo, look, if we can't laugh at cancer, what can we laugh at? And I suppose well, the answer the is comedy. Not us. They're the ones who put the That's it. In. And I am in no way responsible for the content that my channels make. I just present them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not another channel. I mean, it is another channel, but it's also not another channel. Uh, spill the beans, members only stream. Oh, this isn't the members only. Oh, dude, I was going to announce this to members only. I should see the fact that we've got 500 viewers that this is not the members only. Ah! Why am I so stupid? No, I don't want to tell so many people about it yet. I definitely don't. 
And I'm, this isn't some really stupidly backwards way for me to like get people to subscribe to the memberships, although I suppose it is, but it wasn't, it genuinely wasn't intended. I am a capitalist, but I'm not that much of a capitalist. I just realized this was the public stream. It's a genuine oopsie doozy, but I mean, oopsie daisy, oopsie do, oopsie doops. If you call it an oopsie doopsie, Adam O'Brien, I'm probably going to screw it up because it's an oopsie daisy, not an oopsie doopsie, Adam. Jesus Christ. You had one can, job, Adam Brian. I can confirm as the manager of these streams that even if he did have a plan to drive memberships, he'd fuck it up. I got plans to drive memberships, Liam. That wasn't one of them. You want to hear about the new plan to drive memberships? You want to, Should we talk about the new perks? All of the new dreams and things that are available on Brainblaze memberships, which I am absolutely talking about and not stalling for time as I bring them up in front of me right now. Uh, that's a lie. I'm to Liam, how quickly can you bring these up? I already have them. Join. Want to join this channel? Just tell me what the perks are. Can you send me a screenshot in Discord, Liam, and I'll open that up. Yes, I'll do that now. And Dave has just arrived. Dave! What up, my dear? Oh, well, he's not actually in yet. Let's bring him in in a second, because we'll just talk a little bit about it first. Okay. Liam, why is, the why is it so small? I can barely see it. That's on your end, then. Well, it is, it is because I bought this, like, 4K display, which makes everything ridiculously tiny. And, I mean, fortunately, I got my eyes lasered, so I now have, like, better than... Dude, I went to a museum, not this weekend, but last weekend, and it had this, like, exhibit for kids. And one of the exhibits was, like, test your eyesight. You know, it was, like, a fake optician's office. And I was like, God damn, I can read the last line, the smallest line on the chart. The one that before, I wasn't even sure there was a line there. Like, you go four up from the bottom, and I'm not even sure if there's a line there. But I got that lowest one, and they were like, that's beyond 2020. And I'm like, you're goddamn right. I have fucking Hawkeyes, dude. Isn't there a superhero called Hawkeyes? Yeah, there's one called Hawkeye. Yeah, no one gives a shit about him. I'm the Hawkeye now. Okay, so let me just walk you through. Members, you're going to love this because it's new things. And maybe this will sell some memberships. Let's do it. Certified Legend. That's the original level that you get for, is it two, three dollars a month? It's like 60 crowns. $3.99. Three dollars ninety nine. You serious? Yes. Wow. Okay. If you can use a VPN to do it in crowns, you can have it for three dollars because I think like seventy crowns is not four dollars. So maybe uh, get today's sponsor, Surfshark VPN. <laughs> just joking, but I did just do about seven reads for Surfshark VPN for my channel. So uh, I uh, that is that is burned into my brain. So certified legends for three ninety nine American a month or seventy crowns. If you come from Czech, which is about probably one person, probably not even. Videos that are too spicy for regular YouTube. One or two per month. Weekly members only live stream, where apparently I'm going to talk about that secret project, which now I realize is a far better sales pitch than this whole thing. You get access to the members only Discord channel. You get access to all past members videos and live streams, which how many is that now, Liam? Uh, this is 16. 16! 16 extra hours. And some of them more than an hour. Some of them, I really go on. So, sign up for that. Great. Then you want to become a certified OG legend. How much is that, Liam? That's six ninety nine. Shit. Okay, two cups of coffee a month. You get all the previous rewards. Yes, you do. You get early access to videos when I can make it happen. Because sometimes sponsors are like, Get it out now! And I'm like, yes, sir. Pay me my money. Um, but when possible, those will go out 24 hours ahead of time. Liam will be helping me manage that because I am completely incompetent of running a schedule. That's Can't why I have, he will he will be making this happen as often as it is possible. So you will get those early videos. You'll also get early access to merch, not just Brainblaze merch, but also merch for other channels like this beautiful casual criminalist coin. 200 of these coming out soon, including limited run items. Also, you get to submit questions on the Discord Q and A for the member stream subject to your questions being reviewed by liam because that just makes sense and then of course we have the one that people should not buy which is the heavy wallet legends which is how much is that liam oh uh, let me get that one up because i was <laughs> it's like 400 dollars or something insane we do have one legend who does do this thank you so much it's 439 dollars and a bargain at that because you get a personal thank you shout out in the members live stream dude what's on what's the name of our one heavy wallet legend i've sent it to you it's mitchell sanford mitchell sanford shout out you ledge 
Um, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is the membership updates. Uh, fucking Lime Scooters, Liam. Are you familiar with Lime Scooters? Lime Scooters. No. Uh, Uber Scooters. Oh, dude, you live in England. All that shit's illegal, as it should be. Like, the, the electric scooters that you get on the streets, right? I've heard of it. You know what I'm talking about. They offend everyone in Wales. They offend everyone in Wales? You said I live in England. England and Wales, dude. It's the same thing. Just kind of, kind of it's fine. It's fine. Wales, England, Scotland, Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> Just joking. Just joking. Um... Dude, I was driving to work today and spring is here. So you get the tourists and there are lime fucking scooters everywhere. Just like left on the street. I'll walk outside and you're tripping over, tripping over lime scooters. But the worst is they're on the roads and you just get these like tourists. And because they don't want to pay the like, I don't know, one euro that it costs to rent a lime scooter you'll see like two of these fucks riding on one lime scooter which is dangerous and then there'll be like five twofers riding down the street just with the cars and then it's like your cars are trying to get by because you're in the narrow city streets and it's crazy and i heard in los angeles what people started doing because they got so pissed off with this they just took the scooters they took them down to like the pier and just threw them in the fucking ocean and i'm like I, there needs to be some movement to start doing that here because the government is not stepping in and regulating this shit as they should, as they should, because libertarianism is broken when there are lime scooters everywhere. Fuck lime scooters. I had an idea because you can't go throw them in the river because that's like criminal. But what I thought would be a good solution, Liam, and you can tell me about the legality of this. Um, what if we just got shit smelling gel or spray and just sprayed it on the handles of the lime scooters. Because then anyone who touched a lime scooter, their hands are going to smell of shit. And I'm like, that would really discourage people from using lime street scooters while not being criminal damage. Liam, your thoughts. Can I legally pursue this movement? Can we get this movement going today? Okay, first of all, it absolutely is criminal damage. Fuck! Why? I'm not doing anything. I'm just spraying them so they're a little bit smelly. You're adding a substance that will affect the use, but also... It is administering a noxious substance. Oh, come on. What if I threw them in the river? Then that's criminal damage. Fuck, dude. So what are we doing? What are we going to do about these lime scooters? Uh, just uh, kneecap them with a shotgun. If you're right. going illegal, might as well go big. I think I just accidentally run into them with my car. I call them Not brain scooters advice. because I've stu seen stupid people eat pavements on them. Dude, I was just driving around the other day. This was a separate occurrence. I was just driving around and there's two people riding them like they do fucking fully slide off that bitch onto the onto the road and i'm just like yeah i'm not stopping <laughs> it's just like fucking good luck idiots idiots thank you for the five dollar dono nathan c word i call them wait i just read that what am i doing get your brain together simon um happy monkey what one two three five australian thank you up and mate love your content from australia shout out you guys are just entering winter Right? We're entering summer over here and it's fucking glorious. It was like 28 degrees outside, my dudes. Liam, what's it like in the UK? Are you guys warm? Uh, well, I'm currently in the middle of a storm and I got battered by waves this morning, so I'm not certain. I'm okay. Say. No, it's it's nice here, dude. And my office is freezing ass cold though. It's like 28 degrees outside. My office is this basement space and I was like, dude, it's so hot in here with the heating. I had to turn it off and I don't have a thermostat which I know seems insane, but it just doesn't work. So I either just turn my boiler off or I turn it on and it kind of just heats to like the lowest level. But that's too hot in this part of year. And I know I should get it fixed, but I just, I don't know. I just haven't. I just haven't. And it's been like three years. So I don't think I'm going to. And now my office is freezing cold because I turned off the, because uh, I turned off the heating. I have wanted to do logo games, Liam. And I know this isn't the member stream, so normally we don't do like stupid bullshit. We just get to the content more. But I want to play the logo game because I don't know how long I can go without playing it. Can you do a poll over whether we should do the logo game first or whether we should get straight into the content? If people say we should get straight into the conspiracy theories about Steve Jobs, we'll do it. If not, we'll do the logo game. All right? I'll do that now. All right? Okay. And fuck it. While Liam loads that up... <clears throat> I'm not going to talk about my secret project, but I see I wrote it down in my notes. So all I'm going to leak is I'm going to say it's a project called The Lounge. And let that take your minds wherever you want to go. If anyone guesses it, I'll be very impressed because it's completely random. Weird bullshit, dude. It's the logo game. I tried yeah, voting on it myself and it told me I can't. 
Yeah, but it's also <laughs> you. So if we go and do weird bullshit, it's going to be more than just our logo game. No, it's not. We're just doing the logo game. That's it. It'll take five minutes. That's all I want. That's all I want. Chat can't see my face because you never put my webcam up, which is a smart move. But I'm giving a look. Uh, uh, two pounds from Sean. Hi from the wet and windy Wirral. Wirral's in England, right? I feel like I've heard of that. Yes, it's okay, near cool. Liverpool. 500 RSD? What the fuck is RSD? I, All I, I think about... Dude, this is like... Whenever I see RSD, it reminds me of this weird YouTube video I found like 10 years ago. It was one of these like motivational videos where it's like, you can do anything. You Time will pass. You can do it. And I'm like, I don't know. I'm a little bit of a self-help goof. I'll be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, go for it, man. Go for it. I'm a sucker for that shit. And so I'd watch this video and it was from a company called Real Social Dynamics or RSD. And I'd watched this video so many times that I was like, that RSD is ingrained in my mind. I later found out that this whole motivational video was just like about pickup artists. Have you heard of this? It's like dudes who learn, like, uh, have you read the game? It's this Neil Strauss book. He's a journalist and he went and became a pickup artist to write this, but it's fascinating. It's a fascinating book. But I was watching this video and then they're all like, and then there was this one line and I was like, oh, and like, when you get approach anxiety, when you go to talk to a woman, and I was like, I mean, before I realized this, I was like, that's a bit of a weird thing to say in a like motivational video. But I'm like, all right. And then when I later found out about this, I'm like, oh, that makes perfect sense now. It's a weird pickup video. And then I didn't watch it anymore because it felt cringe. Thank you, Lena, for the RSD 500, though. Finally, we got there. I will pay more money to see you go down a list of different acts and attempt them on stream. Sunny greetings from Belgrade. That actually sounds like a vibe. I think I could practice that beforehand as well. Da I was talking to David. Uh, Canadian David who lives in Australia on the phone the other day and he told me this name that you have to say in Australian to get into the accent and it was amazing. It's Michael something. I've forgotten it already but if someone can tell me I'll do my best Australian accent. It's like Michael and it's got an O in there. It's got an O in there. Anyone in the chat want to let me know? I know the Irish one. Holy shit. Oh, tell me the Irish one quickly. It's ginger and community. I'm not going to do the... Do the Irish accents. Ginger and community. No, because my partner always tells me it sounds shit, but it's ginger and community. Ginger and... Nah, that doesn't sound right, Liam. That just sounds like you're from the north. It sounds right to me. Yeah, yeah, but other people have to listen to you. Am I right, Peter, though? $20 dono US. Thank you so much. Can you confirm the fact by Multiverse? Also, just asking my girlfriend, I thought I saw Simon in Philadelphia right now. I told her, wrong board build it. Bald, bearded, British named Simon women in their small brains. Am I right, Peter? Yes, you are. I was like, women in their tiny brains. Tiny. Oh, um, no, I'm not in Philadelphia, but thank you for giving me $20 to answer that question. I don't even know where Philadelphia is. Where the fuck? I mean, I know it's in America. In America. Well done, Liam. That's not what I meant. I meant state. Come on. It Jonathan. is a state, isn't it? Nah, Philadelphia is a city, dude. Pretty sure. Philadelphia is a city? Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. That doesn't sound right. Oh, it is right. Where? Philadelphia location state, Pennsylvania. All right. There you go. It's not a state, though, is it, Liam? Is it? Jonathan Franklin, thank you for the $1. Paul, thank you for the Australian 10. I want to play the logo. I'm down for that. Oh, shit. Yeah, we're doing that. What does, what does it say? 2,000? Kess? I don't even know what the fuck a Kess is, but it came up in orange, so I know it's not a small amount of money. Figured I'd throw another weird currency for Simon to guess. Okay. I feel like it's Swedish. No, because they don't have that much. It's not that big. If it shows up in USD, I was done in KSH. KSH or K K E S. K E S. Korean? Korea? What the fuck do they use in Korea? Liam, look it up. I give up. Tell me. I've looked up. I'm not certain. It says Kenyan shilling. That could be it. Kenyan shilling. What's 2,000 Kenyan shillings in dollars, my dude? Uh, I can tell you in pounds. Just tell me in pounds. Uh, 12 pounds. That's it. It's Kenyan shillings because that 2,000 feels about right for the orange thing. Tell us if we're right. Look out for that, Liam, because I don't want the guy to do another dono. Just see if, look for his, his Andrew Alston reply in there. Uh, more, thank you, Jonathan. Okay, so uh, Liam, tell me the results of the quiz. Are we doing the, the game or are we going straight to the content? 
eighty percent for the game. Fuck yeah, boy. Um, okay, cool. I'm going to bring up my browser because obviously I prepared for this. Uh, ba 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 $15, Thank you. Yeah, that's that's right. That's right. Ah, uh, okay. Sorry, sorry. Give me a second. Working on it. Working on it. Let's go over to the web browser. Um. It is Kenyan Shillin. Kenyan Shilling, we got it, dude. Where's my Chrome? There we go. There we go. Uh, perfect. Done. Okay. Shall I bring Dave in for the logo game? Because it's really appropriate for him. Because what you have to do is you have to draw the logos of brands from memory. So it would make sense that we have Dave on for this bit, right? Yeah, no, let's let's punish the blind man. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, for those of you who don't know, that's just a joke because Dave is blind. Um, fuck it. Dave, let's bring him in. <laughs> we need HR. Uh, Dave, are you there? I am. Can you are hear you, me? Yeah, can you, did, you, did you hear that intro or were you just in the lobby? No, no, I, I, was, uh, I was here. I feel victimized today. <laughs> You're uh, making, um, bragging about your better than 2020 vision and then... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm asking you to play the logo game. So can you tell me what... Let's start with a Starbucks logo. <laughs> Where the fuck is this? Um, the, the only ones I might be able to do are the ones that are embossed on beer glasses. Oh, shit. I don't know what will come up. I don't know what will... I, I mean, I, I saw draw logos from memory. Okay. Here we fucking go. Uh, Whistler versus Miller. Thank you. Am I right, Peter, for the... What, five dollars again thank you so much okay mcdonald's is easy look they even give, give you the color and that's just a big fuck off m and it's kind of thick like around here right guys and then it's thinner in the middle look i don't have a pen this is just me drawing with my mouse god it's bad dave the thing i'm drawing right now is truly i do think you could do a better yeah job. i genuinely think you might be able to do a better job with the mcdonald's lying <laughs> Uh, that feels... Oh, fuck. I didn't mean it to do that. It looks wrong. People it doesn't look wrong. Screen. It looks right. That's People a... People in the It looks like a bell end. <laughs> Wait, what about this? <laughs> I just drew the, the, the sperm coming out. Reveal logo. Oh. That's not bad. That's not bad. Fucking hell. Mitchell Sanford, $50. Is this Mitchell Sanford? Yeah, Mitchell yeah. Sanford. The heavy wallet legends. Is this him, Liam? It is, it is the same Mitchell Sanford. Holy shit, Mitchell, you just gave me 50 bucks? You got too much money, my dude. <laughs> Legend. Dude, draw the Nike logo. Draw the Nike logo. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's, that's not bad. That's not bad. Liam, what do you think? That's not um, bad. I'm waiting for the stream to catch up. Oh, it's, my bad. Uh, it Come looks on. okay. Yeah, Actually, yeah, that's that's good. It's, it's a little bit pointy up there, right? And then there's the. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, I got it right, except for the sperm. So close. Oh fuck. Okay, now there's two things I rem we got to draw the Apple logo. Dave, you must be able to know this one because there's an embossed Apple logo on the outside of Max, right? You must have. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So. I know there's a little leaf on the top, right? And I know that there's a bite taken out of the apple because yeah. Steve Jobs didn't want it to look like a fucking cherry. <clears throat> right? That's right. Okay, cool. I have no idea you know, what's... Um, Go on. Do you know why people... Uh, do you know the incorrect thing that people think about the apple logo? No. I do. Oh, he didn't want it to look yeah. like a bum or maybe a cock? No, no, it's... Um, I can't remember who it was, but they poisoned themselves with Turin. Uh, mm. Turin. Um, poisoned themselves with a with a poisoned apple, obviously. And uh, lots of people think that uh, Steve Jobs did, used that logo as like in homage to Turin, but he always said that he wished he had thought of that. But no, it was the cherry thing. Okay, how does that look, guys? <clears throat> what is that? Hentai with Fat Boy? Hell yeah. Wait, is hentai? That's like manga, but with naked people, right? I don't know why I said hell yeah. It's it's manga porn. Okay, uh, Liam, have I got this flipped around? I feel like the 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 bike could be on the other side, 
And maybe the leaf points towards the bite. Uh, the leaf does point towards the bite, but you've got the bite on the right way. The penis. Wait! Don't right tell way. me. I was just you. You know, don't. Oh, I mean, I, I know. I asked you to tell me. You you asked me a question and I answered. Dude, that's not bad. Uh, I drew a stupid stalk on there. There's no stalk on there. That's not bad though, my dudes. And other than the penis down here in the bottom right, not bad. Not bad. That's just the tip of the penis though. I can't I can't draw the shaft. The shaft's just it doesn't fit, so it's really it's like a chode. To the people in chat saying we need to watch hentai, we need to watch those sex ed <laughs> videos you watch in school what? just to see how long he can make before cracking up Dude, like a fucking demon. Have I told you about my sex ed story at school? About with my legendary teacher, not what you're thinking. Um, <laughs> oh God. Phys so, physical demonstration. <laughs> oh Let's God, go back yeah, to no, that. That's... Liam, how many crimes do you spot? <laughs> that sounded wrong. But so it was like the first day of sexual education, and the boys had been separated from the girls, <clears throat> and we had the boy teacher. He was he was a man. He's obviously a man. He's a he's an adult man teacher. It would be weird if we just had boy teachers at school. Why am I even telling us about this? Um, and he puts up on the overhead projector. And it's like, here are snails having sex. And it's like two snails like intertwined with each other. And here are like two dolphins having sex or whatever. And it, we went through like a bunch of different animals. And then he's like, and finally, here are two humans having sex. And he reveals it and we're all like, because <gasps> we're all like 13 year old boys. And it's just a, a, just a biological drawing of a penis inside a woman. Like nothing nothing sexual about it it was just like that classic penis inside vagina image that we've all seen and we all love um let's move on from that story <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit weird when you don't have like people because it's like I'll, t I'll, I'll tell like the story i'm not sure whether it's funny or just uncomfortable and because i don't hear anyone laugh i'm just like oh <laughs> that was uncomfortable okay starbucks logo there's a woman whoops like this right <laughs> oh god this isn't good and then she's got wavy hair down the sides right like this yes and then there's a circle oh my god this isn't right starbucks is hide is simon aware of the tea video what tea video i am british i do love tea um uh, tea video always keen What's that? And then, I don't know, I feel like there should be something up here. Oh yeah, wait, her hair will go all the way around. Like I that. Like an there we go. Horror. Dude, come on now. Let's just draw the, there, we draw the mouth a bit happier. Draw those eyes in. Draw that nose. Dude, and then I remember that there used to be boobs, but the hair now covers them up. That's not bad. I think that's not bad. Do you not have a smart pencil oh. for the iPad? Uh, yeah, I do, I do, but I didn't, I, 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 I didn't, I didn't set that up. I, I really apologize. Um, what the fuck are these things around the side? What are those like side things? Why, why does she have this? Okay, I'd say. Oh, she's got a crown on. Okay, I would say that my effort on this one is, is pretty, is pretty poor. I think that's just poor. It's just not good. Okay, draw the Amazon. Oh fuck. Oh my god, why is this so hard? Oh wait, it's just text, right? So we've got like Amazon. Amazon. Like that. And then I remember there's that little A. Isn't there like an A to Z? Because it's like, dude, that's fucking it. Dude, I got it. I think that's it. Yes! Dude, that one is the best yet. Look at that shit. Wait, did I spell Amazon right? Yes. Sorry, I thought that was an O for a second. Amazon. I, I only just realized it's an arrow pointing from A to Z. Yeah, dude, and a little smiley face in there. You see that? You see that? That's some clever shit. Jeff Bezos probably paid like half a milli for that. Dude, don't ask me to draw Pepsi's logo. They change that shit like all the time because they're just like an inferior beverage compared to like the god kings that are Coca-Cola. But I do know that it goes something like this right i'm not going to be ashamed if i get it wrong because it's pepsi we don't have to like it we have coke the world is perfect with coke we need nothing more except diet pepsi diet pepsi is kind of fire 
because it kind of reminds me of Postmix. Diet Pepsi tastes like Coca-Cola from McDonald's. And on a hot day, it's nothing quite like that. Dude, I think that's not bad, actually. I think that's not bad at all. Uh, reveal logo. Oh. <laughs> ah! Dude. I, Liam, can you look it up? Can you make sure that's the current Pepsi logo? Because I feel it's Yours more like these two things. more memorable. This, the, like, this doesn't seem like the Pepsi logo to me. Or am I completely insane? There's, like, different Pepsi logos for you. Dude, Although I told you, because they change it, like, every week. Have you seen the current one? Uh, I, yeah, that's the one I'm looking at right now. But this is what I was trying to draw. And I obviously got that really wrong as well. But I feel like I got it less wrong. Thank you, for Jarity, for the $5. I, Did I, I see the... I sent you the new current one, by the way. Okay, in Discord? Yeah. Yes. Okay, cool. Let me it just bring that up. So shit. Let me finish thanking Jared for his $5, which is very much appreciated. Did you see the AI-generated rat penis diagrams that was in the Scientific American video? Liam, look into that. If it's safe enough for YouTube, we'll look into it right now because that sounds super interesting. Z, it's Z. Simon Failing is a Brit. I know. $2. Thank you, am I right, Peter? Don't spend... Don't... Don't... You, I feel bad. You're already a member, my dude. Thanks for all the donos, though. Appreciate it. Um. Okay, so, yeah, my Pepsi one... It's honestly not very good. Twitter? Oh! I'm going to be clever. Look. That's the... Does anyone else think that that new Twitter logo, the X, kind of blows? It's got, like, two things like that. It looks like something I'd get on Fiverr. And Elon Musk made that, like, his logo. He needs to talk to... Who were we impressed with? Jeff Bezos. That's a good logo. That's a good logo, Jeffy. This is not a good logo. Okay, but really, it's a fucking bird. It's like a little I've, bird. I've sent you a safe rat penis to look at, and Dave dropped out and has rejoined. Oh. So I think you'll need to re-enable his Apologies, voice. Dave. Apologies. Or is that Dave's fault? He dropped out, I guess. Uh, show on stream. Dave, are Here's you back? my Wi-Fi. What up? There's my, my Wi-Fi went. Ah, uh, okay. So, Twitter. I'm, I'm still underground with no power, so I'm hotspotting. <laughs> oh, God. So the Twitter logo is an X that I think sucks. The real one is this one in the bottom right, which is a bird. And then this over here on the bottom left, that's a cock. Dude, that's not bad. My little bird on the, like, if with that tail. That's not bad. Dude, that's not bad. Draw the, dude, I don't even know what, do I even know what the Snapchat logo is? Oh, ah, the white. Now I remember, it's like a ghost. Right? Like this. Liam, you're young. I have Snapchat on my phone. Of course you no do. Clue. Dude, I think it's like this. Something like that. What do you think? Okay. Oh, I remember it now. Yeah, dude. It's like a ghost. Even I remember that. And I'm some boomer ass son of a bitch. There we go. Look at that. Fucking perfect. Okay, doesn't have a face. We'll note that for next time. NASA! Dude. This is surprisingly... And NASA is one of those ones that you see everywhere. But I think it's like a big blue block like this. Right? We'll color that shit in. Yes. Look at that. Look at that artwork. Yes. And we'll color it in. I think there's like, it's NASA. And it's like all big, bold, like this. And then there's like red. I don't know where the red goes. So we'll draw it up here. That's where the red goes. Hey, that's not bad. That's not, I mean, it's, it's bad, but it's not that bad. We just need to draw this thing in around here, color that shit in, and then do this like weird Star Trek looking thing. Perfect, lovely. Google, uh-oh. Oh God, they're gonna ask for all of these colors. G. That's already wrong. Oh, yellow maybe? Oh, I think blue goes first, actually. Let's just put the blue. That feels that feels better. That feels right. That feels right. G no, no, I want green next. G. Ah, what, what would go after that? I've used all the colors, so I wanna go back to blue and then red. I have a feeling there's two yellows, but this looks pretty this looks pretty good to be honest. Dude. I almost got it right. Dude, that's I only got two things the wrong way around. Come on, that's quite impressive. 
I I'll grant you that one. I could not picture Google in my head. Wait, not even that it was a just a text like this? No, I knew it was text, but I had no idea the color. Okay, draw the Android logo. Well, I know what that looks like. It's basically um, just what you have is you have an apple like this, but it's just a bit shitter. Like it's it's for paws. So it's like this. It's just an apple with a big cross through it. Does that look like it? Oh, no, it looks completely different. Oh, no. No, I'm just kidding. Did you seriously just say Android is Apple, but for paws? Dude, it's just a joke. Or is it? Um, no, it's it is. It's not wrong. I love the script. Dude, I, <laughs> I use Apple. I use Android even. I mean. Oh, God. Okay, Spotify. Are you poor? Yes. Oh. There you go. Uh, <laughs> Spotify. <laughs> this one. Okay. Shit. Like this. And then this is all green. This is probably the app I use the most outside of YouTube. There we go. Dude. And just imagine all this is green. Right? Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah! That's the badger! That looks like it. That looks like it. I have to say, I did inadvertently cheat because I have Spotify installed. So there's the logo in the bottom right. And that is the logo game. Uh, I hope you liked it. Apple, but for pause. Oh my God. Is this going to be another thing that gets me canceled? I didn't mean it. It's just a joke. I know some poor people have Apple as well. They just get on payment plans. Um, oh ah, it's another joke. It's another joke. No, oh, jeez. Thank you, guys. I'd like having the job while it's last. Yeah, it's been fun. We had a good... Oh, I am off screen. Good. I'm going to load up today's script because that's what we're all here for. Tell me, chat. Are we here for the script? Are we here? Are we here for the script? We are. We are. We are. Are you doing this on auto queue? Dude, no. Wait, have you been here before? Oh, wait. Me, sorry. Yeah. You can't see me. Um no. No. <laughs> Yes, no, I have it. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. Again, this has happened. <laughs> yes, just I am definitely blind. I definitely can't see you. Well noted. Well noted. I'm bringing up the <laughs> script sure? now. I am not. I am not doing this on the also queue. I have the script as of right now downloaded. I think I put a picture in there. That was all. Oh no! Then you're perfect. Yeah, I've got it here. Although I think I might have downloaded this as a... Oh, no, I've got it here. It's Steve Jobs looking like a hippie sitting in a garden chair. Yeah, wow, no, don't, okay. don't, don't read that bit yet. Okay, okay, I won't. Let's get cracking. Crazy conspiracy theories about Steve Jobs. Um, Liam, keep an eye on the chat. Let me know if anything interesting happens. I shall. Okay, perfect. Like all other communities with an online presence, the blind community is split into two different factions. Those who think Apple products are amazing and poor people who are wrong. Dave and I say I have not read this before, but we are aligned. Uh, before the release of iPhone 3GS, any blind person who wished to own a smartphone had to not only shell out an exorbitant fee for the device, but also pay an additional 200 to 300 pounds in order to purchase software which would make this device accessible. Dude, really? Yeah. Did the government um, pay for that, or do you have to pay for that? I'd say Vodafone would pay for it, but no other carrier would... Um, you had to pay for it out of your own pocket. Wait, with no government money paying for this? No, no. What the fuck? Wait, hang on. This is going to sound incredibly ignorant, but it's the first chance I guess I've had to answer this question. Money-wise, do the government give you money so you can access things like yes okay cool yeah. but they wouldn't give you money to access this no well they would argue that they give you a set amount of money every month to use some of that ah which i think it, i think is kind of fair really you know yeah no i didn't know that and that 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 does seem pretty fair the only thing i know about the the blind thing is on the tax return that you do it always asks you like did you have a blind person's allowance and it's like <sighs> Haven't had it for the last however many years, so no, this year also not. <laughs> well, if your surgery had gone wrong, you would have. That's true. I completely discounted the fact that I could become blind. <laughs> I don't know why that didn't occur to me. 
<laughs> you were very casual. And we have a super chat asking if you will be on time tomorrow. Uh, yes, I absolutely will be, just like I was on time today and have been on time for everything and so far. And what is that time, Whistle? 3 p.m. local. And 2 p.m. noon BST, and I'll convert it in a post later. Okay. Apple, under the leadership of Steve Jobs, changed all of that. Not only has every single Apple device that shipped after the release of the iPhone 3GS come pre-installed with screen reader software that you can use free of charge, but that software is far better than any other screen reading software on the market. Of course, as is their way, Android attempted to dupl duplicate the software on their own devices, but as is also their way, the result is clunky, resource-heavy, and barely fit for purpose. So where am I going with all of this? Isn't this script supposed to be about Steve Jobs' conspiracy theories? Yes. If you're asking these questions, then chill, because I'm getting there. I just wanted to let it be known from the beginning that, in my humble opinion, making the world of technology accessible to the blind means that Steve Jobs is an absolute legend. Yeah, I like all the shit that Steve Jobs made. It's brilliant. Dude, when I went to have that eye thing done, because the first time I went, when I had my LASIK, when I, the first time I went, my eyes were like fucked up for the whole day. And so, assuming that that's how it was going to be after I got the actual surgery, I turned on this, like, uh, this thing on the phone, like, where you can, like, zoom in on it. Clever, right? You just do this, like, triple tap, um, which was not actually very useful because my eyes were, like, totally fine after the surgery, just, like, immediately now I can see. Um... Okay, Steve Jobs being a legend, and therefore, it is just possible that I may show a little bit of unconscious bias while analyzing the various conspiracy theories that people have spread in order to slander the great man's name. However, I should do my best to remain as impartial as possible. With that out of the way, let's proceed. He was not rich. Dude, he's Steve Jobs. He founded Apple. The boy is rich. Or was Co rich. I mean, he's not rich now because he's dead. Co-founded, yes, yeah, sorry, sorry. There was... I think his wife's quite rich. Oh, I bet she is. I bet she is. She, I think she set up her own, like, multimedia company thing. Really? Yeah, I was reading, um... Oh, some, um... I can't remember who the author is. I read all, all his stuff. He's a journalist. Um... But, yeah, he mentioned it, that she, she set up some sort of media company. Oh, there you go. Well, that sounds, uh, fun for her. She's got lots of money to do that. It doesn't matter if it fails or works. Uh, as far as I can tell, this particular conspiracy theory comes from a basic understanding as to exactly how large companies worked, coupled with a fundamental un misunderstanding as to just how Steve Jobs chose to live his life. So what's the deal? Well, there are a number of things that proponents of this particular conspiracy theory mention. First, his salary from Apple was only $1 a year. I mean, yeah, that's pretty common, though, isn't it? Like, CEOs. Isn't Elon Musk, Warren Buffett, these guys, they take like a dollar? And it's like, they're not poor, they're just taking it all in dividends, probably for tax reasons, right? Now, uh, go on. Elon Musk is not taking a dollar, he took like a uh, half a billion dollars and it's now being oh, challenged in court. Wait, I thought that was stock that he wanted to cash out or something. Oh no, that was, that was his bonus, you're right. Yeah, that is his salary, he took it in stock because there's not that much money fluidly available. Elon Musk be living that living that wildlife just like half a billy in salary that's crazy that's that's crazy no wonder they challenged him uh however i'm uh, on the surface this is pretty easy to do not least because it is uh, 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 i'm sorry i totally skipped ahead so what's the deal there are a number of things that proponents of this particular conspiracy theory mention firstly his salary from apple was the it was only one dollar a year now let's for a second take this at face value and assume that one of the most technic successful technology pioneers in the world was only paid one dollar a year by the company he co-founded on the surface this is pretty easy to do not least because it's true if you stop right there and don't bother to look at the matter any further then you might conceivably be able to support the argument that he couldn't possibly be rich especially if you also misunderstand his choosing to lead a minimalist lifestyle. However, I'm sure that as everybody realized, there is more to it than that. To understand how the $1 salary trend started, it is necessary to travel far back in time. Well, not that far back in time. Well, at least far, far back in time. If you're an American, if you live in Europe where lots of houses are older than the American Constitution, it's actively comparatively recent. Yeah, my nan lived in a house from the 14th century. It was like... The... The... The bottom floor, when you went in, you walked down a little staircase because people in the past were shorter and they dug out the, the, the floor at some point to make it fit big people. And it was all like these tiny little corridors and 
It was a weird house, but it was cool. It used to be like a, a forge where they made like where they hammered stuff. And then at some point they didn't need forges anymore. And so they got turned into a house. It's nice. Um, okay. However, as I'm sure everybody here realizes, there is a little more to it than that. To understand how the $1 salary trends... Oh my God, Simon, keep it together. Can you actually make an effort and keep track of where you are? It's a problem when I don't have a teleprompter. Anyway, I digress. During the 1940s, a certain event took place which forced the American government to engage in some pretty complicated logistical planning. As we're all aware by now, governments often struggle when things are a little bit complicated, so they drafted in outside help. Business executives such as Philip Reed and William S. Knudsen stepped up to the plate, as it were, offering their services to the government free of charge. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sounds like they're, they're, they're definitely not going to get anything out of this, are they? Sadly, there was a problem. Under U.S. law, I have no idea if this has changed now, but it seems unlikely, Washington was unable to take on unpaid volunteers. As a way around this, these big-time CEOs were awarded a salary of $1 every year. Back then, of course, this actually meant something. These people were genuinely taking time away from their fabulously wealthy paid jobs for the good of the nation. Oh, okay. Wow, the past was different, right? It's like immediately I hear about two businessmen trying to like help the government and I'm like, oh, please. They are like, they're going to be like, yeah, yeah, sure, we'll help. What do you think? What do you think? And they'll, the, the government will ask, well, what do you think we should do? It's like, I think our companies should pay no taxes and unions should be banned. <laughs> Uh, well, this was helping out with the logistics of the war, so, you know. Oh, oh okay, of course. Okay, so people... That, that was the more. certain event that occurred in the 1940s. It was. About. I, 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 was I, I have heard of the Second World War, just didn't quite put it all together. Thank I you. I think you've probably made a video about it. Yeah, one or two. One or two, I would say. Yeah. <laughs> Nowadays, not so much, although big-time business leaders will usually not correct anybody who suggests that they've taken a $1 salary purely for altruistic reasons. If you were to press any of them on why exactly they do this, they'd quickly discover that the benefits are great indeed. Firstly, and we sort of already covered this, if a company can show its chief executive officer is so metaphorically invested in the business that they'll almost work free of charge, then it is much easier to convince other talented individuals to sign up. This is so crazy. People must see through this immediately, surely. <clears throat> Secondly, thing in America. Yeah, it's kind of amazing. Like, oh, wow, he just gets paid a dollar. He must love it. And it's like, no, he's just got like, <laughs> he's just getting that bank from, you know, yes. getting, the, the, getting the dividends or the stock shares or whatever it is. <laughs> also, Go on, maybe Liam. it's their individual companies. America's sort of known for that whole industrial complex. And I just Googled what companies they're the executives of and... They definitely had a lot to profit from. Yes. Yes. Uh, secondly, although these individuals are only receiving a salary of a dollar, they're almost always being compensated with a generous number of shares in the company. Let's use Steve Jobs as an example. Seems appropriate, being this is a video about him and all. According to Google, at the time of his death, he owned 38.5 million shares in Apple, or about 0.24% of the company. That's it? I did check that, because it looked like... That's unbelievable. Wait, how? It's normal. Normally, they'll have a document which limits the amount of shares any one person can own. And normally, it's about a quarter of a percent. But it will be Wait, like but... if you, uh, the top 12 of them that own the highest amount of shares will be on the board and everyone else is unrepresented shareholders. Who wow. basically don't get a vote. So that sort of numbers is about normal. Wow, that like sucks. Elon, Elon doesn't own that much of Twitter, does he? It's like... He's just, it's just the most. I think most... it's 12%. Yeah. It's pretty high, but uh, Twitter's not a public company anymore. So does it matter? I, I don't. I, I'm not a business brain. I don't know about this shit. Thirdly, and perhaps not finally, but finally for this script, the tax benefits are huge. Obviously, you don't pay any tax on a $1 salary, and assuming you hold on to any shares you're given for more than one year and one day, any income you make after selling them is taxed at a greatly reduced rate. According to Investopedia.com, the most important thing to understand is that long-term realized capital gains are subject to a substantially lower tax rate than ordinary income. This means that investors have a big incentive to hold appreciated assets for at least a year and a day, qualifying them as long-term and for the preferential rate. Oh my god, Investopedia. I just turned off during all of that, but I assume it's saying something about there's a good reason they do this. Uh, <laughs> it's like whenever this finance stuff comes up, I'm just like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> On that note, thank you, Mudquebs, for your two Australian dollars. Uh, this script is like a proper business, please. OGBB. Oh, wow. It is. It is about business. It's OGBB. That is true. Um, 
Yeah, me and Steve Jobs, similar in this one. I mean, anyone who owns a business, it does, it, it, almost everywhere, it makes much more sense to take the money out of the company in dividends rather than a salary, right? I feel that's what, that's how it works with companies. If I'm even correct. I don't, know. I, don't, I don't do this stuff. Whilst all of this kind of destroys the theory that Jobs was, in fact, not rich, there is perhaps a much more simple piece of evidence that should be required. In 2006, he was listed as number 140 on the Forbes Rich List. Now, I've never worked for Forbes, so I can't personally verify this, but I assume they check the numbers before they publish. Kinda, but Forbes is also just guessing. Like, they don't know how much people are worth. We talked about this on last week's members stream when we, thought we went through like my biography online and they always just guess at how much you're worth. And it's like, how would you know this? And Forbes just also guess because it's private. Like, you're a private individual. <clears throat> like, if you own lots of shit uh, in a company, they can guess, but they don't really know. Uh, quickly circling back to the minimalist lifestyle idea, this one is one thing, jobs or indeed anybody who chooses it, that I don't understand. Having stuff is awesome. Apart from paying bills, etc., the only reason I get up in the morning and do any work is it enables me to buy more cool stuff. What is the point of having billions of dollars and living in an almost empty house? Yeah, I don't know, people are like, money doesn't buy happiness, and it's like, no, but it does buy things that make me happy. Like, I don't know, I think that's just just a weird thing to say. I mean, of course it's not the most important thing, but it is thing kind is, have of... You ever noticed, have you ever noticed that the people who say money don't, doesn't buy you happiness, happiness don't have any? Yeah, they're, they're like always like, yeah, no, people are, it's like, does money buy happiness? I don't know. I'm pretty happy and I got money. Seems, you know, <laughs> correlated. <laughs> Although I've always been like pretty happy. I'm a pretty happy dude. The next entry is fairly horrendous in both its accusations and inaccuracies. Oh, I'm sorry. He was responsible for Japan Airlines Flight 123. The crash. Oh, this was the crazy one where it crashed into a mountain, right? That was intense. Yeah. Oh my god, thank you for the 10, Starkiller Sniper. Thank you, Simon, for bringing back the OG business place. You're more than welcome, Starkiller Sniper. Love you. Thank you for the 10. Uh, this next entry is fairly horrendous in both its accusations and inaccuracies. Unfortunately, unlike with Bill Gates, there are very few conspiracy theories about Steve Jobs and I had to run with what I could find. According to a now-deleted Reddit post, Apple's former CEO was directly responsible for the Japan Airlines Flight 123 crash in 2007. Not only that, he orchestrated the entire incident in order to exact revenge against Japan. This is some deep shit. So let us try to fake object. Let us try to fake some objectivity here and look at both sides of the story. In around 2014, a post appeared online claiming that all reports as to what exactly happened to JAL Flight 123 were completely inaccurate. Now, I'd be very surprised if Simon has not covered this particular topic in a video, but just in case, this is the official cause of the accident that I copied from Britannia. I feel that there was something they were flying too low and they didn't know, and they crashed into a mountain. Right? The crash was attributed to a missing tail fin that was likely structurally weakened because of frequent landings and takeoff. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. I was, I was wrong. They did crash into a mountain, though, right? JAL 123? That's what I it. thought they were. Yeah, then it, they had to go lower. I think that's the one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I see it here. Yeah, okay. Cool. Was a scheduled domestic passenger flight. Uh, crashed following in flight. Oh, just tell me if it crashed into a bloody mountain! I just need chat GPT. It did crash into a mountain. Okay, good. There you go. I, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't the mean good. Bomb. Simon's getting cancelled today. And yeah, I'm I didn't mean over. good that it crashed into a mountain and killed. Holy shit. How many people were on this plane? 520 fatalities? That must be the deadliest single accident, surely, after, um, G not Gibraltar, Tenerife. The crash of 123 is the deadliest single aircraft accident in aviation history. God damn, that's yeah, a lot of people on one planes, plane. Didn't it? Uh, yeah. Oh, wait. Uh, Tenerife, yes. JAL, yeah. JAL 123, no. No, no, Tenerife. Uh, yeah, that was two I planes crashing into each other. It, I remember. Yeah, yeah. And then the terrorists apologized because the plane was, the plane yeah. was rerouted because there was a bomb threat at the airport. And then the terrorists felt so bad about such co uh, about causing such a death toll that they apologized. They were like, by bombing the airport, we didn't mean to like cause this plane to go somewhere else and crash into another plane and kill hundreds of people. <laughs> it was so bad, the terrorists felt bad, which is 
interesting. And just a note, not that I'm making any correlation to recent news stories. What's that? The Japan crash was linked to 40 repairs by Boeing. Dude, Boeing is allegedly what the fuck's going on at Boeing. Now if I fly and I see it like it's a Boeing 737, I'm like, where's my A320? <laughs> I don't want to fly on a Boeing. Apparently. That shit's going wrong all the time. They just paid really subpar for a repair on the tail and Dude. didn't check that it actually was fixed. And it wasn't. Dude, Boeing scares me, man. I don't like that. Thank you, Anthony Lombardo, for the $10 US. I'm coughing like Simon because I'm taking a bong rip for every tangent. I like that <laughs> shit. You do it, my die. dude. You do it. I like that it's legal in so much of America. I see that US donors. It's illegal where you live. It's like so many states now. Germany just made it legal. Um, not like in a, in a sense, like they have these clubs and stuff. I think, I think Czech Republic will do it like next year or the year after. They keep talking about it. Pretty excited. Pretty and excited. That's when I'll come yeah, to I, visit. Saw, I saw Germany did it on April 1st. And yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so much that that actually happened. Mm. Thank you, Josh, for the five. Found the OGBB videos about six months ago and all the CC stuff. You're a certified legend. I have years of content to listen to. Yeah, dude. Someone who discovers the Whistlerverse now in 2024. I've been doing this like 10 years. There's years of shit to listen to. Sometimes I go into my analytics and I'll grab. You can see like how many million hours people watched in like the last month. And it's like it's thousands of years. And I'm like, wow, it's weird that people watch me for like thousands of years. That's longer than I'll live by quite a, quite a bit by thousands of years thousands of years um sounds plausible right well according to this particular story the post claims that steve jobs himself hacked into the plane's computer system remotely and sabotaged its systems in order to cause this catastrophic incident but i'm sure you're all wondering why well apparently jobs was mightily pissed off with japan because of an incident which occurred during one of his visits according to a widely reported story before boarding his private plane jobs was stopped to go th while going through japanese airport security because he had stowed ninja stars in his personal luggage as to exactly what he would attempt to why he would attempt to do such a foolish thing um wait didn't we just say he was on a private plane yeah his, there's um the thing is apparently at that airport they only had one security check so the private plane people had to go through that ah i've flown on I a private I plane one in. time and security was very lax <laughs> it's like right this way gentlemen <laughs> Uh, they're like, they're, they're like, put your bag on here. And it's like, the dudes aren't even looking. They're just like, go on. <laughs> Cause it's like, it's only you. The only person who's going to call, you know, <laughs> that's it. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm flexing. Yeah. I mean, I didn't pay for it to be fair. It wasn't my plane. That's even more of a flex. Why? You got into a private plane without paying for it. Mm. It's my mates. It's like not mine. As to exactly why he would attempt to do such a foolish thing, Bloomberg reported that Jobs said it wouldn't make sense for a person to hijack his own plane. He then told officials he would never visit Japan again. This again, according to an online post, and certainly not anybody affiliated with Brainplace, this is his motivation behind the alleged attack which killed hundreds of innocent people. This is insane! This Someone just went onto Reddit and made up a story. And that's it. Jared T upgraded his membership to a certified OG legend. Thank you. And Eva as well, joining. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Join as a member. Find out about my secret new project on Thursday. The greatest accidental sales pitch ever. <clears throat> Find out on Wednesday. Tomorrow. Oh, fuck. Okay, Wednesday. That's what I meant. That's what I meant. Um, Get Stone with Simon is the game we've been playing this whole time. I mean, shit, when they make it legal here, I'm down. I'm down. It'll probably be really boring because I'll just be like, yeah, just gonna, just gonna chill right now. Just... <laughs> Just not gonna do anything. Oh, did you take your flying lessons in a Cessna 172? I didn't. I took my flying lessons in a plane that is entirely escaping my brain. But we should get on with this because it's already two o'clock and I got shit to do. Um <laughs> Josh Jones, thank you for becoming a member. Steven, thank you for the five. Uh lost my place. I lost my place. First, uh, what do you think, Simon? Live chat. 
me if I'm there. You are. Does this sound at all possible? Plausible? Well, and it's not often that we get to say this, but I can categorically 100% state that absolutely no truth behind this conspiracy theory. First of all, let's take a look at the events which allegedly caused Steve's alleged hatred of Japan. Although the story was indeed reported by many news outlets, it's now believed to have been a story that happened to somebody, but not Steve Jobs. When asked to comment on the matter, Apple issued the following statement. Steve did visit Japan. This... What? what? Why would Apple comment on this insane thing? I don't understand why companies see the need to reply to, to stuff that's insane. Thank you, QuickDraw520, for becoming a They didn't comment legend. for a while, and then eventually they did. Say again, Dave, sorry. They didn't... They didn't comment for ages, and then eventually... Actually, they did. It's bizarre. It's bizarre. Just, you just, just shut up. It's a stupid it Reddit post. It must have been to distract from something else, right? Like someone run a story that's like, Apple uses sweatshops. And they're like, well, we didn't kill the plane people. But <laughs> it was like on a, on a day where some bad shit's coming out about Apple. It's like, well, we didn't hack a plane and crash it into a mountain. Thank you, Christian Reard and a Miss Archivist for becoming OG, uh, a certified legend and certified, uh, a certified OG legend, respectively. Appreciate it. See you on th- uh, on Wednesday. On Wednesday, Tomorrow. I remembered it. And even if I don't see you, members, it's available as a VOD afterwards. So that's lovely because I know this is not very friendly to our American friends, time wise. I mean, unless you're an insomniac or just get up ridiculously early. Um, like me, I got up at five this morning because that's what I do. Gotta hit that. Gotta grind it out, man. Sigma male style. So, you may well be thinking something along the lines of, well, of course Apple would say that. Ordinarily, I'd be inclined to agree with you, if not for this last piece of information that I deliberately withheld from you up until this point. Even if the Ninja Star story is true, and you'll have to make up your own minds about that, the alleged incident took place in 2010, which, as the mathematically minded among you will have surely immediately noticed, is three years after the crash. Fortunately, this particular conspiracy theory gains little to no traction. I don't know whether or not this is because it was almost immediately deleted after it was posted or because of the provable falsehood it contains. It's just absurd! Having been around the internet for quite some time now, I find I suspect that it's the former. Conspiracy theorists very rarely let provable falsehoods get in the way of spreading insanity. Before we move on to the final entry, it's just occurred to me that I may very well be being exceptionally naive. Perhaps the last story is true and nobody had yet picked up on the fact that Steve Jobs invented time travel. Ah, dude, of course. Maybe I'll start with the Steve Jobs invented time travel conspiracy theory and see how far it gets. Dude, you can. Like, that dude started that, I like birds. That's not it. Uh, Birds aren't real. real. (laughs) Yeah, I like birds is a song by the Eels, which is fantastic. Um... But just like birds, fuck. Birds aren't real. There's a good, there's a good short about birds aren't real on my channel that you recorded. (laughs) Oh yeah, no, I know all about that. I remember everything that I make. Thank you, Cameron, for the five. This is very business place. Stand up, start hitting some paper. Uh, Remember before something is post flex rich now. I don't know about that. Don't know about that. I did did mention that I flew on a private plane and everyone said that was a flex. It wasn't mine. It wasn't mine. He's not dead. If the internet is to be believed, nobody dies anymore. Anybody who's achieved even a modicum of fame then passes away and is immediately accused of deception. Alas, Steve Jobs is no exception. So what is it this time? Did he disappear to open a burger joint in Missouri? Did he undergo millions of dollars worth of plastic surgery to become a Donald Trump lookalike? Has he joined Anonymous? Disappointingly, nothing so interesting. Apparently, he simply retired to Egypt in order to live the simple life of his dreams. That's right, in 2019, a Reddit user posted a picture which apparently looks suspiciously like the Apple co-founder sitting outside in a cafe in an Egypt and Egyptian <laughs> sitting outside a cafe in Egypt drinking coffee. I have no idea whether Simon uses an auto cue for live blazing. I do not. Or just reads the scripts on his iPad. Don't do that either. It's on the screen in front of me. Can move it up a little bit so it looks even more like I'm looking at the camera. Hello, uh, Simon uses blah 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 blah. Okay, so we got a picture. Um, shit. Can I bring this up? Give me one second. Br- give me one second. 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 You need me to send it to you? Dude, I got it. I got it. I can do this. I can do this. I can't do this. Liam, please send it to me. Okay. How are you going to send it to me? I need uh, it in- on Discord. Uh, oh, I can't do that. Look, it's a picture that looks like Steve Jobs. Next time, I'll work out how I can bring up a... Uh, this isn't going to be worth me There's figuring out There's a better right description now. than that underneath. Okay, cool. Oh. I'll read that. I'll get away from you to bring it up as well. Okay, thanks. 
Just like dump it in a, a Google Doc or something. Just something I can access on Chrome. Okay, now looking at this picture of him, which hopefully we'll all be able to see in just a moment. Thank you, Liam. Um, it doesn't look like him. At first, I was like, yeah, it looks like him. And he's doing that kind of thoughtful Steve Jobs face thing, and he's got the hair like it, but the face looks different. Also, he's dead. He's dead, so we know it's not him. We I know it's like not him. Out, though, that at the beginning, you described the picture as a picture of Steve Jobs. Yeah, I know. But it's like, it do, like when you look with a little bit of skepticism, as you would if someone's like, this is from 2019, you'd be like, no, it's not. But obviously it looks a bit like him. DJ, thank you for becoming a certified OG legend. Appreciate it. See you on Wednesday. For the rest of you, you'll have to make do with a description provided by ChatGPT. The image shows a man sitting on a white plastic chair outdoors at night. He is wearing a beige tradition. This is a long ass description, ChatGPT. <laughs> Beige traditional robe and glasses and is holding a cigarette in his right hand. Holy shit, ChatGPT. Is he really? I don't see the cigarette, but he kind of looks like he's holding a cigarette up to his mouth. You have a link. Uh, thank you. In Discord? Yes. Nice. Okay, everyone, we'll look at this together because that would make this a much better experience. Um, hold on, hold on. We are getting there. Do not worry. Do not worry. We'll go to the... Uh, browser share option and we will load it up i made an imgur account just for this oh that was very quick of you i'm no. always ready for you this is why i am your community manager oh wait it's my outlast everyone welcome dj a new certified og legend. already welcomes him my dude already welcomes him that's the kind of professional man that i am dude i can't even get this to fucking work now this is stupid this is so stupid Okay, we're just gonna have to move on because I can't work out how to bring. It's so stupid. <laughs> ah! Given that Simon is such a huge ChatGPT fan and I, and taking into the. Oh my God, Simon, you're so stupid. What happens? I just deleted something by accident. Okay, let's go back. Seemingly deep in thought, his left hand is resting on his thigh. There's a person behind him, only partially visible, wearing a red and white checkered garment. In the background, there are parked cars and a dimly lit street. This is bloody accurate. The Reddit icon with a sad face is at the bottom right-hand corner. Ah, uh, close. It's a happy face. Um, there are parked cars and dimly lit street. The Reddit I read it already from the Pix community on Reddit. It's a happy face. Given that Simon is such a huge ChatGPT fan, of course I am. ChatGPT is my god. Um, and that it was previously able to recognize and describe a picture of Jeffrey Epstein, I thought we would play a little game. That's right, let's play Does ChatGPT Think That The Photo Is Real? Analyzing the picture and coming up with the previous description, I asked the app if the man was Steve Jobs and I received the following response. I'm sorry, but I cannot confirm the identity of the person in the image as it's not explicitly stated. The man resembles Steve Jobs due to his attire and glasses, but without confirmation, it's speculative to say it is indeed him. Next, I asked if he resembled Steve Jobs in any other way, and the creepy semi-intelligence that lives in my phone said, yes, the man has a similar appearance to Steve Jobs in terms of facial hair, which is a close-cropped grey beard, and the balding pattern of his hair. His profile with the glasses and the way he's holding his hand to his face also contributes to the resemblance. I told you. I told you. Him doing this, like, hand held to his mouth thing is like a... That's a Steve Jobs vibe. And he's kind of, like, looking down thoughtfully. And I, also the brown robe. I kind of imagine this is how Steve Jobs dresses when he's at home. He just takes off that black turtleneck and those blue jeans, and he puts on this brown robe. Liam, put the image girl link in the chat. Did you just put the image girl link in the chat? I've, Legends. I did it already, and now I've also done it as a poll. Magnus, Verm, Thor Magnuson became a certified legend. Thank you so much. Welcome to the club. See you on Wednesday. Um, while ChatGPT did not seem prepared to completely commit, people all across the internet were not so abstemious. It's brand abstemious. Abstemious. It's a brand new word to me. What does it mean? It means... Uh not as in this context uh not holding back or oh. uh i'm gonna use that from now on i'm gonna be abstemious with you and liam here are a few responses from really those who are. are later who were convinced i know this is supposed to check be a your joke WhatsApps. <laughs> what's that check my whatsapps not now i'll check my WhatsApp. not now later oh okay wait <laughs> what's going on dave did you just say you're leaving no 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 Okay, I'm um, so confused. It doesn't matter. I, I said check your WhatsApps later. There's a ChatGPT joke thing for you. Ooh, I love ChatGPT. 
especially ChatGPT jokes. Thank you, Jessica Sanders, for becoming a certified legend. And thank you, Crouching Tiger Hit and Adam, two pound owner. You're all legends. Hope you have a great day. Everyone, everyone, we're having, it's a day of the live blaze. Everyone's having a great day. It's the best day ever. Shit, it's quarter past two. I got work to do. Let's finish this up. Uh, here are a few responses. Uh, from those who were convinced. I know it's supposed to be a joke, but what the fuck? This guy looks too much like Steve Jobs to be so random. Honestly, wouldn't put it past him. His love for Egypt and that type of simple living, that spirituality that lives there, the need to escape. I don't know, man. I'm not very into conspiracy theories, but Jobs would be crazy enough to actually do it. And there's even something about the way he sits. Definitely him. If I was forced to choose between the uh, three conspiracy theories that we've discussed today, this is the only one that I might consider. Having said that, even Reddit isn't entirely convinced. The most compelling arguments against the idea of Steve Jobs faking his own death seems to be that he was such a control freak that he could not have possibly remained quiet for all this time. And that if the man outside the coffee shop were indeed him, then it would almost definitely be wearing an Apple Watch. Apparently, he's not. So, what does everybody think? I don't think he would be. Like, if he wanted to, like, leave... I think he wouldn't use an Apple. He'd probably be an Android boy. You know? Because he wanted to get away from it all. That's why he faked his own death. I'm kind of into this. I believe it. So what does everybody think? Is Steve Jobs hiding out in Egypt? <laughs> yes. That unfortunately brings us to the end of today's script. As I said before, there are far fewer conspiracies floating around online about Steve Jobs. But I hope you enjoyed the ones I was able to find. I loved them, Dave. Thank you so much for being here. Appreciate it, man. Taking your time on your 5G no worries, connection no in the basement. 4. 4G. 4G, dude, what are you, where are you living? In well, like... I get I get 5G outside, but I'm actually in an old bank vault. Yes, so you are, you sent me a 5G, picture. It's very cool. 5G will not penetrate. <laughs> uh, thank you, Ashley, for the gifted membership. Appreciate it, and I'm sure someone who's watching appreciates it. Liam, did we get any interesting questions? I know we're rather tight for time. Yes, I uh, have a couple. Go on, hit me. I will also say that the poll has decided that it is, in fact, Steve unemployed. Yes, it is. It's uh, he's, he's not. But a quarter of people think that it's actually Steve Jobs, which uh, obviously must be a quarter of people joking because otherwise we got a problem. If Steve Jobs wanted to fake his death, he'd be too successful to be caught on this random picture. Yeah, agreed. Um, oh, thank you, Ronaldson. Two pounds. Hello from Stabbingham. Hello back to you. Stay safe out there. Maybe you should spend that two pounds on stab vests. <laughs> Shit. Um, right, so we have a question from Kieran Parr. How are Romulus and Remus? Doing very well. Um, we stayed in town this last weekend. Just had a quiet weekend. The weather was fantastic. It was very nice. Thank you for asking. <laughs> for anyone unaware, Romulus and Remus are how Simon refers to his children. They, that's He's my children's names. Romulus, R Romulus Whistler and Remus Whistler. Um, we have a question from Canicia. What is the status of Rotten Turtle? Rotting Turtle is uh, still available. You can you can grab your Rotting Turtle today wherever it. Uh, I don't remember the the uh, exact web address, but it's available. It's available. Anything else, Liam? Last one. Hit me. Um, yes, this was an active sloth. Have you always been interested in history and true crime? Uh, true crime, no. History, yes. True crime. I just wanted a challenge, like. I wanted to do something a little bit out of my wheelhouse on YouTube and true crime is really competitive and I thought it was a good opportunity to do something a little bit different. And yeah, that's kind of that. History, no, I always liked history and I always liked science. So it's kind of kind of cool that that's what I, what I get to do. Oh, five gifted. Andrew, how? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, and that's where we're going to end it today. Liam, Dave, appreciate your time. As always, thank you everybody for joining us on this live stream. Like I say, you can become a member and join tomorrow's live members stream. And I will remember that that is a members only stream and all of that stuff. Appreciate it. Love you all. Thank you for the gifted. Thank you for the memberships. See you all very, very soon.